will be to the most high God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Glory be to God our Father, the maker of the heavens and the earth. They bring out all ideas. Glory be to Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, our God, our King, our Brother, but now and forever. Glory be to the Holy Spirit, our Helper, the one who does great things, the technician and the war mission of God. Praise be to you, Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. This is Reverend Nidika Imeri bringing you prayers for today from our chapel at the Kaimaris Ministries Chapel of All Nations in Wichita, Kansas. Let us pray. Eternal God our Father, we come before you to manifest presence and to demonstrate your power. This morning, we come with all humility into your presence to celebrate the Holy Communion, to celebrate the covenant we have with you. Montreal. Yeah, the covenant that we have with you, O oh Father, is so massive, is so strong, nothing can break it. Therefore, we thank you for this new covenant. And this new covenant is the person of your Son, our God, the God that you gave to us. Jesus is the God that God gave to us. The Holy Spirit is the God that God our Father gave to us. So that God is no longer far away from us, but lives inside us, around us, and within us. We celebrate this feast today. I want to remind you all that Christmas was just a few weeks ago. Christmas as a day. But Christmas as a cycle is still on until Lent. God the Father has given us the very God who created us and created the universe. His name is Emmanuel, God with us. Hallelujah. We join the angelic beings to celebrate the feasts of his coming and being incarnated not just in the womb of the Virgin, but in the very womb of our spirit of our soul and our bodies. Hallelujah. Let us celebrate the feasts of having our God in us so that he carries us with us even as we carry him in us. This is the mystery that we have a God who carries us in his heart and we carry him in our heart also. Hallelujah. 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 There is no greater joy than to know that finally God decided to be very near to us, to be right here with us. It is the most biggest mystery that is beyond all creation. Dear Father, we thank you. We thank you for this permanent covenant that you've made between 
us and you or between you and us that in Christ Jesus you have decided to unite all things in this one personality our very brother one like among us therefore with angels with archangels with the cherubims and the seraphims and with the living creatures we join the sins in heaven and the sins on earth to say holy 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 is the lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest and blessed is you O jesus who comes in the name of the father hosanna in the highest This day, O oh Father God, we command the universe to do exactly the things that you've always wanted to do for us. We command the heavens to be broken. Let the sky break open and let the blessings pour through. Hallelujah. Let your power and your presence be seen because when your power appears like it has appeared right now, everything that is not of God dissolves. We destroy stupid dreams. We destroy dreams put into us, God knows from where, and we command them to die from where they come from and never have any effect on us. We command words and causes spoken against your people that are producing different stuff to drop and die and never wake up again. Excuse me. Edekai Mary Ministries. Yeah, we are in a we are in prayer now. Yes, what's the good news? Okay, then Okay, then, then send your tithe immediately. Because let me tell you something. I want all of you who are listening to listen to this conversation. It's good that it's happening. This lady who is calling right now is a sister of mine. And she's been trying what she's telling me in our own land where she lives somewhere in Florida. And um, yesterday, the day before yesterday, for some weeks now, she's been so afraid of the exam that she took, the exam to become a registered nurse. And yesterday morning, in fact, day before yesterday, I fasted and prayed for her. Yesterday morning, we celebrated the covenant of the Holy Communion right here, right now, at this time, 8 o'clock in the morning, which is 9, which is 9 o'clock in the morning her time and she was so afraid i told her i rebuked her yesterday for the first time i told her do not destroy my faith i have faith in what i'm doing right here in this altar that everything that i tell god must be given to me he said must and this is what she is telling us what is the good news sister She's passed the exam to be a registered nurse with a very big stroke of of good, very good. Because yesterday she was saying she doesn't know, she doesn't know how. I said no way. I gave her an example how forty people, including me, took an exam, and everything in the syllabus that we were asked to read none of it appeared in the exam none of it appeared in the exam and i was the and i look at the paper people were complaining and murmuring i did not i said to myself even if it's going to be only me alone that passes this exam in this center i'm gonna pass it and i began to write and choose my answers and you know what happened i was the only one that passed that exam in that center wow. and now i think i told you that story with deborah yesterday yes, yes, yes. and now you are calling at this very time that we are 
having a covenant morning prayer and you are reporting to me that you have passed to become a registered nurse i cannot wait to receive a very very big offering from you i'll call you later after the service because this is making me happy i am very happy and i believe more and more in what i'm doing congratulations and god bless you we now have a new registered nurse thank you jesus okay bye bye this is news this is good this is good this is very good the more i receive this kind of testimonies of what i'm doing and how it's affecting people the more i become ecstatic the more i'm drawn into this i will tell this testimony for a long time to come because she never believed in herself and i rebuke her yesterday i said do not ever destroy what i'm trying to do for you so that is for all of you to see and know that whatever you ask me to do for you it works let's continue to pray dear father we thank you for this good news coming to us this morning as we worship in your sanctuary we thank you this shows me there's nothing that i would ever ask you that will not be granted to me so father we thank you we bless you and as we enter into this worship we believe for more and more amen let me read to you from genesis chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 genesis chapter 1 from verse 6 to 8 and god said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters verse 7 and god made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were over excuse me over the firmament and it was so and it was so let's see what happened verse 8 and god called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day god had blessing to the reading from his holy word and unto his name be the praise and glory both now and forever amen Have you ever wondered why before God does anything he talks about it look at what he says and God said let there be a firmament or an atmosphere a firmament means atmosphere when you look at the cloud there is what you see up there is what we call atmosphere or firmament it is what we call sky or heaven heaven means above the earth there was water the waters was waters was everywhere from the ground to the very uh, uh, to, to, to the very uh, sky there was water everywhere waters waters up there and water down here was one water there was water up there and there were water down here as one water and god decided that what he's going to do is going to he's going to do another division remember something when you divide a thing it makes it easier to handle god is a god of division a god that divides things so that they are easy to be handled 
Remember what we learned yesterday. He divided the light from the darkness and, and then he called the light daytime and he called the darkness, he decided to make good use of the darkness and he called the darkness nighttime. God always makes good use of everything. So I want you to be aware of that, about God. Don't throw away things easily. Think about what you are to use it for. He did not throw away the darkness that was upon the earth. He decided to turn it into a good use. A time of rest, a time of recharging, a time of making energy, a time of sleep. A time when much activity is not to go on. So you see, he always does things like that. He's good at dividing things, separating things for, for different uses. Have you learned how to divide your time so that you enter into a pattern? You see, every organ and tissue in you is waiting for an order from you, a pattern that they will follow, a systematic pattern. Even my computer is looking for a pattern to follow. And when once you train it to do that, it begins to follow the pattern automatically. When I type in certain things in my iPad automatically, it, it will think that I want to get back. I want to I wanna go to where I've gone before. Do you have a pattern? Do you have a cycle that you follow? Do you? And there is another thing that you have to be aware of. Before God does anything, he talks about what he's going to do. The talking, let us, or let there be, he talks about, and God said, let there be a firmament. He always talks about it first. I am going to make an atmosphere. It means God sat down and he sat down and looked at it and said, there is water above, there is water beneath, they are all connected as one water. I'm going to separate it. And then, what am I going to use to separate the waters? He said, I'm going to create the sky realm. The sky realm, the sky world. I'm going to create the world of the sky. And he did. And he called, he separated the waters. He used the atmosphere to separate the waters that were above the atmosphere he put an atmosphere like a division a separate a separating thing the atmosphere is simply a separating thing now we know what it is the sky that you see was given to separate to 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 demarcate to 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 allow the water that way that is on earth to remain on earth and not to be one with the one above so now we know that there is water up in the sky because it has always been so the waters in the sky was one water with the water on the earth and the atmosphere was given to separate waters so there's not just waters on earth there is waters up there and of course we see where rain come from we can give scientific reasons why rain fall but we now know that there is water up there. There are oceans up there. Because when we read about the, the deluge, when God destroyed the world in the time of Noah, we heard that he opened, he opened the heavens and the water began to pour down from the earth. And then he also opened the bowels of the earth and the water began to come out. And so when the water that is under the earth begin to gush out onto the earth to join the rivers, the stream, the lakes, the sea, the ocean, and then another water is coming from the sky realm, you know, that's very disastrous. I want you to think about that. And God did this separation. What are we learning from here? And God called the separation, the atmosphere, that we see, he call it sky or heaven. 
heaven is another name for sky or for the atmosphere. And one thing we learn from this is this. We are following a God of sophisticated intelligence whose ability is able to look at things and how to do it well. And not only that, how to get the best out of everything. That's the vision. How to make life easy. It's about making things life easy for us humanity. That God is doing all this. God is doing everything to make life easy for us. And to make life easy for every other thing in connection with himself and with us. That's all God is doing. So that we do not need to suffer. so 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 happy and then uh -huh. and then there is where he says and it was so do you believe in what you are praying about like I was praying for this lady and yesterday I celebrated the communion service and I brought her into that covenant communion service is a covenant service and I brought her into it. And even after the service, when I called her, after she finished the exam, she was still saying she doesn't know how it's going to rebuke her. She said, listen, I believe in what I do. You're going to pass that exam. Whether you like it or not, you're going to be a registered nurse. Do you really believe in what you are doing? God believes in what he's doing, that it will come out right. Because he's spent time to do it. If you have studied, and then you ask me to add prayers and presence and power to what you are doing, it will come out right. And you will pass, and you will be promoted. My job is to promote people. <sighs> Take it one piece at a time. Take it one piece at a time. If you want a better outcome in life, take it one piece at a time. And you will see how things will change. This is good news. I am so happy that I'm seeing what I'm seeing today. And I'm hearing what I'm hearing today. I'm going to if you have a very special need uh, which you believe it will only take the act of God to solve I am calling you to call me and then I will ask you to join me ask me to do a service of covenant for you a communion service every communion service is not a powerful service you need a powerful guy like myself to do something, to release something powerful into your life. Hallelujah. Eternal Father, Bless this wine. Let your spirit come upon it to make it holy. I activate the ordinary wine that human hands have made. That it will become for us a communion and a sharing. A power thing. A manifestation of the presence. And a demonstration of the power of the living Jesus. Dear Father, let your spirit come upon this bread, that it will become for us a sharing 
in the very body of Jesus Christ our Lord let it become the wounds by which the world is healed the people of God and those who are coming in to the life of God will become healed and become blessed hallelujah Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Rightfully so. Let's do it all the time. It is very limited and our bounding duty at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Almighty Father, our God, and our King, our Maker. This morning, dear Father, I thank you for answered prayers. We come into this covenant agreement that you've already set in place. We reenact it, we activate it, and we call it to become powerful for us. First and foremost, oh God, we celebrate this for another person this morning for Medina in California. We celebrate this communion that as she about to write her bad exam. Oh God Almighty, we pray that in this covenant that she will pass her bar exam for the first time and become not just a lawyer but will end up being a judge as you've revealed to me. Number two, we celebrate this powerful thing, this covenant of power for my sister Doris Los Angeles, California that had a real top business people will be in high demand for what she has to offer excuse me people will be in high demand to buy property from her and through this means she will become a multi-millionaire We ask that people be driven to want her services and that through being a realtor she will be able to have all that she's supposed to have. I celebrate this covenant service for Mr. Mas, my godson in DC, that he will sell those two buildings immediately immediately and that he will become and he will pay attention to this side of business and I pray for for Mass Mr. Mass and for Doris that both of them will become great property owners from one side of the nation to another and wherever house issue or property issue arises, they will be the best consultant. They will make money to it. We pray this morning for Doris' friend in Maryland. Doris, is that where she is? This is that where she is, Maryland? Pray for her in this covenant agreement where we agree with you and where we agree with each other. We ask you to give her new organs right now. Let her be taken out of dialysis. I also include Marsha in New Jersey, um, in New York. that she and Doris' friend be healed in this agreement with you, O oh God. Let new organs be released into their system and let the doctor
doctors certify that they do not need any more dialysis. Let everything in their bodies begin to work again for good. In this covenant agreement, which we do not take lightly, which I believe with all my heart, I pray for Jetrude and I ask that her sight be healed, be restored completely, and her fortunes be restored and her blessings be complete for the vendor that that piece of land in India be sold and a lot of profit be made that the person that is occupying a thing, property, a house that belongs to them and machineries in it should leave immediately We pray for a girl that she acquired that bungalow and that father she be hired to become a teacher permanently and that her cleaning business begin to boom and that she have more property for rent. for Shalane that she be hired on her job permanently with a bigger pay that the spirit of stability be granted that she acquire property and become a rich woman that you will also give her a great husband and a happy home Pray for Doris's children that they all be married to the right person and not the wrong people. This morning, a Donald Father, I pray for Gillian will find her the right husband that this morning everything that will happen in that court will be in her favor and that even finances be determined for injury in court that let her be open doors for her to become a makeup artist for either a television house an international corporation and that she become a multi-millionaire like everyone I've prayed for this morning. As Janet and her husband make this decision to know where they are to move to, oh God help them to make that decision. I ask oh God for Christine for her promotion immediately in the US Army that will be a surprise to her. Let it be quick. Let there be a promotion in houses, both for accommodation and for rentage, and let it happen immediately. And God, I pray this morning in this covenant agreement that you will release a massive money into the Dikaimeris ministry and you will bring people you bless with finances to bless the ministry so that we will be able to do your work Lord we pray for open
open doors to teach, to preach, to heal, to raise the dead, to cast out demons, and to bring the gospel to the meek. We offer this covenant agreement, O God Almighty, for Teresa, that our marriage be put back into place for Friday, that, her ch that his children become obedient, and that he will have a very happy family. We pray, O oh God, in this covenant agreement for Lee in Australia that he be completely healed. And I believe that he is right now. We pray for Cheryl that, O oh God, you remove fear, and that, O oh Father, that you will open a door for her to teach in a college. The same I asked, O oh God, for Miss Williams, that it happens to her too. O oh God, we pray for Ruby, that you open doors for him in the financial world for him to become very rich so that he can continue to support the work of God in my life. All this and many other prayers very dear to our heart that we cannot even mention here we present to you O oh Father we present to you Jesus even in you as the covenant and we believe that they have been answered we receive miracles for we believe that it is your will that things be made easy for us therefore we rely on you for our miracles We call on you, Holy Spirit, to send us angels and other human beings to walk with us, to connect with us. We review the spirit of complication and confusion, intimidation, and we walk on earth today in boldness and power. Let your presence come upon us and enter into us and let there be a new baptism of faith, a new baptism of power, a baptism of joy and love and peace and gentleness and self-control and kindness and goodness, a new baptism of knowledge and understanding and right judgments. And to you alone, O oh God, be all the glory and all the praise for answering our prayers these days. Lord, we thank you that you've answered us. We thank you you've given us the right people to do business or to minister to. We thank you for massive miracles that are happening right now all over the earth because our voice has echoed throughout the atmosphere. We break every barriers that we imposed against us. We destroy them. We destroy sickness. We command demons to leave immediately. Every area of our life that demons have concentrated to stop us from moving forward, we command those areas to be opened now. Every area of weaknesses, we command them to be shot. And all of our areas of power and strength become areas of opportunities 
and great prosperity. All this we ask, and we ask you to deliver us from Satan and from all his secret plans and intelligence. And if any of his work is manifesting upon the earth, we command them to dry up and to go. And as you said, let there be a major blow. Let the wind come from your throne, from the north, south, east, and west, and overthrow his and his lodge, his control in any area of the lives of your people. This morning, Lord, we pray for the sick that they be healed. We pray for right people in government. We ask that the wealth of this world be given to us. Say, and get your hand off from our health and from our money. Get your hand off from our jobs and our professional careers and ministries. Get going and do not return back. Let angels be released into every four corners of the universe. Oh God, provide for your people today even as you show us things that we are to do that will even provide for us more so that through us other people will be provided for. I offer this covenant agreement for Cleo, for Maria, the two Maria from Nebraska and Washington. Let diseases be healed. I destroy bad dreams. Let new dreams enter into their lives. Lord, heal people of depression, panic attack, and anxiety. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Almighty Father, both now and forevermore. In you, Jesus, in you, with you, through you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all things are yours, everlasting Father, to the glory of your name, forever and ever. Amen. And we unite with your people, and we unite with you, and with Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit, to say you are worthy, O God, to receive the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. People of God, what we have asked for this morning has been granted. Do not take lightly the prayer of a saint like me. Do not take lightly what God has done in your life this morning. seal and to share and to say yes to it we share Let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for filling us with a new ability today, with a new power. Thank you for restoring and renewing your people. Thank you for healing our bodies. And thank you, oh God, for restoring our minds. We thank you for every prayer you've answered during this covenant agreement. And to you alone be the glory to you. We come back tomorrow to repeat this, but now and forever. Amen. And now the Almighty God bless you and keep you and make you fruitful forever. Amen. Is there anybody out there with a prayer request? With a prayer need? Now that the power of God is flowing, you can call 316-765-0060 or 316-200-0060.
0243-243-2967 or you can ask your question or prayer request um, um, if you are on the conference call this morning yes yes what can I pray for you for is good tell your mom that This is um, tomorrow. Tell your mom, tell your mom in British Columbia, and tell her that uh, tomorrow that um, during the eight o'clock service, like uh, we just finished, tell your mom and dad that um, and yourself too, and John, I will be offering a special, a special covenant uh, communion service for them tomorrow morning. Okay, so you know what that means. Should I give you should I give you my address right now? Okay. waiting for her to give her the address of the ministry. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you're ready? It's five five zero West Central Avenue. Which is uh, W I C H I C like Tom, A like Apple. you just put KS that is Kansas the zip code is 67203 
six, seven, six, seven, two, zero, three. Okay, and tell John that I said hello, and tell your mom uh, the same thing. Uh, Metal, call me later later today because uh, there are things that I want to ask you to to um, to let me be aware of about about your dad. Okay. Yeah, I want you to give me some description of something so that I could send them out too. No, 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 no. I am sending out something to, to the family, to everybody. Including John too. Including John too. So let me be aware of it. Okay. So call me, call me like about an hour today. Okay. Okay, bye bye. So the service has come to an end. God Almighty bless you. And uh, I'm still waiting. Um, if somebody has um, a public prayer request, please call in, or um, or you can just speak out if you are on the conference line. If not, this is Reverend Dikai Mary saying to you, God be with you and keep you, and the peace of God blesses you. Amen. Bye bye.